In this amazing beginner plasticity tutorial, you will learn how you can create this simple yet astonishing sci-fi prop concept completely from scratch. And you will learn the absolute basic tools that you need as a beginner to create any sci-fi concept design that you want. And if you want to learn more about sci-fi modeling in plasticity, I just launched my brand new amazing course for beginners where you will learn how to create an incredible sci-fi environment from scratch. And in this course, you will master essential 3D modeling tools, craft unique sci-fi concepts and develop skills to create any sci-fi project quickly and efficiently. And with my step-by-step -step approach and fully narrated lessons, you will gain the confidence to tackle complex projects and unleash your creativity. So enroll today and start your journey into the amazing world of Plasticity 3D Modeling. Check out first link below this video. And for now, let's dive in into this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, we have to go to the top view and go here to the center circle and just drag that down and snap here to the y-axis and now go to face mode, press three and select this blue face because now you can just extrude this, so that's fine. And also we will only create this thing here in the middle and select the curve, delete it to keep things tidy and now select this edge with edge mode and just give it a chamfer. But I think this chamfer has a little bit of a different angle. So select this white thing here and you see, so we just bring it a little bit more inside. So this is cool, but also we need just a little bit more. Yeah, a juicy chamfer. And yeah, now we have to create those shapes here, right? And that for that we will use curves, we will just draw the pattern kind of and then we will just extrude those faces which we've created with the patterns and you just have to learn how to use those curves and, and how to trim them because you will use them and use this technique all the time. So create a new circle and just snap here in the middle and snap to this edge so it's at the top and now shift A or create a line and just go yeah, maybe somewhere here. So we can adjust those curves all in a second. And we want the exact on the other side. So select the curve, Alt X, mirror command, and just bring it here to the other side. And now create a new curve. And maybe already let's select those points. And with S, see, you can just adjust them a little bit. So S for scale, bring them left and right, but let's create a new line. And this new line, we will snap somewhere here. And again, Alt X and bring it to the other side. So Alt X for mirror command. And that's basically it for those things here. So now you will have to select T and trim. And it's important that all of the curves are intersecting. Only then you can trim them. So go to the top view, press T again. And now just trim everything away that you don't need. So you see, we are just left with those faces here. So also if you go to two and edge mode and alt click, you can select all of them. So you see it's only those shapes here, but now comes the interesting part, face mode, select this face and this face. And now with E, so E is the command for extrude. So you see if you just extrude this now inwards, nothing happens. But if you press, so now we have to, yeah, create those shape here, right? So now select the faces and extrude them downwards, but you see nothing happens, but we can use the live Boolean command in plasticity. So here you see Q is always uh, the command for Boolean. Okay, it's union, but if you press Q, you can now select this main but, uh, body and now you see it's blue, but we have, to use W, so it's different. You see now it's red, and now we also see the live Boolean command, but we also want now, so this is the magic part, here with this white circle, we want to give them a little taper. Okay, and press two, alt click, all of those curves, just delete them for now. And you see, we have the shape. Yes, it's not the right proportion, 
So if you just want to adjust it, you can select with again face mode, those faces here at the top and just adjust them. It's plasticity, it's just fun and you see now it also looks a little bit better. And maybe also those faces, just bring them a little bit inside. So yeah, the proportions are a little bit right. And now the beautiful thing is, so let's give here first some fillets. And now you should be able, because it's plasticity, yeah. You see, it's it's amazing that we can, okay, let's give here one by one. So select them both at the same time and let's give them here a nice oil. It's beautiful and this and this and here, but a, a thinner one. And you see, it's just beautiful. So now let's create the shape in the middle. And you see, we have a little bit of a rounding. So again, go to the top view. Corner rectangle, just snap randomly anywhere in the middle and press C. So you go in all direction and let's just with G bring it to the top and just bring them here. And now you can press one and adjust, adjust the points manually this way. And now, because here you see we have a little bit of a rounding, so you just don't want to give here some fillets. I mean, you could, would still look good, but you can also take this curve and shift S. So shift S is here raise degree or subdivide as it was prior called, I think that's better, shift S subdivide. So you subdivide the curve because now you can take those points, press S again and just give it a little bit of a rounding and maybe take all of those points and bring them a little bit to the top and now select the curve and press B and you can give it now a nice fillet. And again, the same, press three or first of all, select the ad, uh, curve, press G and with control click, snap to the edge so it's on the face. And now three and extrude this inwards and again, press Q for Boolean, select this main body here and adjust a little bit the taper angle and W so it's red and this is beautiful. Select the curve, delete it, select this face and I want to extrude this downwards but without going in the taper. So press E and now you create kind of a new command, extrusion command. Yeah, so we have something like that and maybe I want to bring the faces all a little bit inside. So alt click the face and just extrude them a little bit. And I think that's good. And now you can just give here some fillets. And if you want, you can add some details in the middle. But one more thing that of course I want to show you is how you can create those yeah, pill forms kind of. So for that, you see we are the same angle as this edge. So you can basically create a new line and go from here to here, just snap to the edge. So you have the same angle because now with G, you can bring this now here where you want and shift D again. So we have this and now we have this beautiful command here. Click and drag here to the tangent circle and now just from this to this edge and you see you can create a perfect circle the same again. So select this edge, this edge and this just drag that out. And now we have some stuff left over. So press T for trim. So you can just, yeah, as this word says, trim it away. And the same here and here and here. That's fine. And Alt. And now just select them all, press join. So you have again a closed curve. And the same, just extrude this, press Q into the bottom W and you have something like that. And now we can just select this whole object, press tab, select this object, Alt X and just bring it to the other side and Q Q. And now Q Q, I mean, so you can boolean that together. And now you can fill it everything, Alt click and yes, I think it will not be absolutely clean. Okay, so we can't even fill it that, so you have to fill it first those guys, and then select those leftovers and something like that. And yeah, actually that's pretty fine. Let's give here also some fillets. 
and beautiful and now I want that you add a few more details here on the outside or maybe on the insides with the same things that I just showed you in the tutorial so you practice and for those who truly want to master sci-fi design and concept design and plasticity I've just launched my new plasticity sci-fi course where you will learn how you can create this amazing complex environment completely from scratch as a complete beginner as well as creating sci-fi assets for your kitbash library so you can use them reuse them always in your projects so if that's something you're interested in check out first link below this video you will save massive amount of times by investing in this course and i hope i can see you in there bye